A former public employee is accused of stealing from one New Mexico county the entire time she was on the job. But she says that's just not true. News 13's Francesca Washington has both sides. Mora County officials say for the past three years, their former payroll clerk, Denise Duran, stole more than $5,000 by manipulating her timesheets. She was able to evade detection for, for several pay periods because she was the same person and in entering information into the, into the system. An investigation found Duran gave herself more vacation and sick days than she actually earned, though she denied it. I don't know. I, honestly, I can't tell you because I've never seen that on, our, on my timesheets, on my pay stubs, on anything. This is the first time I see negatives on my leave. Duran did admit to another kind of fraud investigators say. Back in June, County Commission Chair Paula Garcia says during a review of monthly spending, commissioners found an invoice for reimbursement for flooring purchased for the fire department. $1,500 to be paid to Duran. And it was highly irregular because normally we would make a payment to a vendor. Garcia says after that meeting, the county hired a third party to investigate Duran. In that investigation, Duran admitted to faking the invoice for the flooring that she originally bought for herself, but decided she didn't want anymore. So she tried to sell it to the fire department, but couldn't find her receipt. But Duran isn't the only one accused of breaking the rules. Her father was the um, chief of the volunteer fire department. Um, several of her family members were involved in that as well. Fire crews for more worked the Ute Park and Emory Gap fires, and investigators found a 44.5 hour difference in hours worked versus hours paid. Garcia says it's a discrepancy Duran should have brought to the county. Just because they're volunteering doesn't mean that they're entitled to shortcuts and and. Um, defrauding the public. Since the investigation, the county has drafted an update of its employee policy handbook to keep this from happening again. We reached out to Duran today and got no response. But back in July, she told investigators she didn't fudge her time sheets. I know my time drops really low, but I've never gone over what I've had. Francesca Washington, KRQE News 13. Duran, her father, the former fire chief, and another fire administrator were all fired following the county's investigation. New Mexico State Police are now investigating.